we gonna get Starbucks. We gonna get Starbucks right now. I thought it was nice for the Hey, I was wondering if you guys have the spinach feta and egg wrap, uh, white wrap thing. Spinach feta wrap, anything else for you? Uh, no, that's it actually. Uh, that's my 41. Thank you. Yes, I am so excited for this. So, I'm literally on my way home from work. On my way home from work. And I really want to go to the gym. I just could not be bothered to go home and make something. I honestly have been absolutely in love and obsessed with these spinach egg white wraps. And I'm not getting it because it's egg white or spinach or what. They just literally, it's the best tasting thing to me on the menu at Starbucks. So I really want to show you guys with this pre-workout meal that you can go out and like get food that is beneficial for your pre-workout. Really the thing that I look out for is how much fat. Yeah, I would not recommend eating an avocado before you work out because it is high in fat. Fat takes a long time to digest and you're basically going to be working out and that avocado is just going to be sitting in your stomach because all the blood is going to your muscles and it's not going to your stomach to digest it. So just stay away from fats in general for a pre-workout. I tend to go more protein and carb based. Crap, Starbucks. You guys are so fast. <laughs> I had to stop recording. Okay, this is non-conspicuous, I think. Right in front of a Mercedes. Perfect, excellent. <laughs> wow. These are my credentials right here. You can tell that I lift because of my hands. Those look awful. Wow, I'm so sorry. And they're super ashy. When a white person is ashy, you know it's bad. I like the wrap because it's a good source of a carb. Um, I have some peppers, some eggs. It looks like there's like olive oil or something in here. I don't know if cheese. I'm sure there's cheese though. I don't really destroy it. literally blows my mind how smart I am. I wanted to park in the most inconspicuous place and I literally parked in front of the only freaking car that has a dash cam. I'm gonna leave now. So we're doing a warm-up activation exercise. It's a single leg hamstring curl just on the machine. I love doing these and switching off sides and doing it really slowly and contracted to make sure I'm fully activating my hamstrings and the bottom of my glutes and the top of my hamstrings where they both meet. So I'm ready to kill these next exercises. Here we're doing a limited glute bridge. Notice I am not using my full range of motion. I am keeping my glutes activated the entire time there is tension in them going up slowly and coming down and up slowly and coming down and making sure everything is working together everything's slowly contracting and I'm really really feeling it I have my hands on my hips to make sure I'm balanced not sure if y'all are ready for this but this one absolutely burned so I'm doing step ups with my toughest resistance band I'm constantly keeping tension in my resistance band and I'm switching legs after every 10 steps. Notice that my stance is wide. I really, really felt my side booty on this and it hurt so good at the end. Well, let me tell you. Again, we're gonna switch legs, making sure they're even, going slowly, and making sure it's all working the same. Remember, you don't need heavy weight or crazy exercises to grow your glutes. We're doing a different version of a deadlift. And again, I'm not using my full range of motion here because I'm focusing on the contraction. I'm not completely going down, not completely going up. I'm keeping constant tension 
in my glutes. That is the key here, constant tension. So I am really focusing. I also have my toes up, so my weight is in my heels. Focusing on the weight in my heels, we're really, really targeting the hamstring and those glutes. And this is one of the exercises that I will typically keep my chin tucked. Again, I'm just going very slowly, making sure my form is on point, really contracting those muscles. Uh, so, and pushing that weight through my heels. To break up my leg routine, I'm on the leg press. And I'm gonna do this in several different positions to target different areas. So first we're doing a wide stance here, as so. Transitioning into a narrow single leg press. And then transitioning to a toe out narrow single leg press. and switching legs while doing it too. I'm just gonna show you with a different angle here. Again, it's the wide stance, leg press. Get more of your outside glutes, outside legs here. Transitioning into a narrow leg press with both feet on the plate. Transitioning to a toe out single leg press. Transitioning to a narrow single leg press, toes neutral. And repeat as follows in the description. So make sure you're reading that description box. You're gonna love me after this. I am going to wreck your glutes after this. So I'm using the AB Ductor machine. I'm using a lightweight, only 30 pounds for this. I'm just doing regular AB Ductors. And after your first set, I want you to do this. You'll AB duct out and then pulse down like this. AB duct out pulse down like this. You're gonna feel this at the lightest weight. And breathe through it. I only did three here because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get another set in. So again, just pulse three times after your set. My camera cut out on the last angle, the exercise, but these are the exercises I have been doing to continue to grow my glutes for 2022 before I step on stage finally as a wellness competitor. So I'm doing this full time. Let me know if you all have any questions about them and I'm more than happy to answer. We'll see you in the next one.